Azure Data Services launched in 2010 with Azure SQL Database. Today it offers over 40 data services, many appearing to do the same thing. It's like going into a restaurant in a foreign country, taking a look at the menu, realizing you don't read the language, and just giving it your best shot. So let's try to translate some of the services that are most useful for data professionals. Let's start with data storage. Blob Storage is the primary file store in Azure, providing scalable object storage. When your volume of data grows into the big data realm and we need to upgrade our data storage, it's time to get Data Lake Gen 2, where you can scale storage and compute and is optimized for big data storage. Storage Explorer can be a useful interface if you spend a lot of time managing blob and table storage. For databases, we have a plethora of options. Need distributed in-memory data access? Redis is available for your apps. Table storage also provides a key value store for your semi-structured data. Cosmos is a managed NoSQL database service for app development. It automatically and instantly scales for demand and has API connections for MongoDB, Cassandra, and can be interacted with via SQL and JavaScript. It connects with Synapse to provide direct analytics on operational systems. Do you have structured data in one SQL Server or Postgres managed in the cloud? Both options are available. If you prefer MySQL or MariaDB for the open source types, those are also both available fully managed. Want a cloud-designed relational database that scales up or down as needed? Azure SQL is what you're looking for. There are some differences with SQL Server, so plan ahead when migrating. Now that you can store your data, what are your options for data pipelines? Skip the pain of data discovery and preparation with open data sets, which gives you access to publicly available curated data sets, easily connected to your data science models. Data Share provides an easy way to grant access to data sets to external organizations, either as files or APIs for applications to consume. This can help organizations share data sets to form a large collaborative data store. Logic Apps are low-code, containerized programs that can help easily automate workflows, such as triggering emails, alerts, file movements, data refresh, and much more. Do you store critical data in Microsoft 365? Graph Data Connect will easily bring your 365 data into your Azure subscription to work with. If you need to build or consume a custom API, API Apps allows you to set up new or existing APIs and integrate them with other Azure services, allowing you to pass data between various systems and applications. Azure Functions is the essential serverless compute, allowing you to write event-driven scripts in your favorite language and set up triggers to execute them without needing to set up a server to run them on. This allows for automation, pipelines, and anything more complex that can't be handled by other Azure tools. Event Hubs is the key for building your real-time data ingestion pipelines. It easily connects to Apache Kafka applications to handle millions of events per second. To orchestrate your data integrations, you'll turn to Data Factory. From built-in connectors to complex code, Data Factory will easily handle moving data between sources and do some light transformations. Is BI your thing? When it's time for dashboards, Power BI Embedded allows you to embed reports into applications for user-facing visualizations. You can add a semantic layer and a tabular model for your BI solutions with analysis services, giving users a single access point for your datasets. Data Catalog can register your data assets, providing descriptions to business users for all your data objects, helping users understand your data structure. If you're still struggling with data governance, Azure Purview will help manage and govern all your data, automatically creating an up-to-date map of your environment and data lineage. For advanced analytics, you have a huge variety of options. Data Lake Analytics is a service for distributed analytics across your data lake, SQL pools, and Synapse. USQL can search across petabytes of objects stored in the data lake. If you need to run low latency analytics on your streaming data, then Stream Analytics can help you build pipelines, querying your stream data using SQL and custom code, including machine learning. To dig into your streaming data further with on-demand analysis, Data Explorer can collect and analyze data near real time from streaming applications and IoT. If you're struggling with your machine learning operations, Azure ML can provide a framework to build, train, and deploy models through an MLOps pipeline, speeding up deployments and making team collaboration smoother. And of course, since AI is the thing these days, there's no shortage of services there. If you need common decision-making AI, such as a message bot, image analysis, or content moderation, just hit the Cognitive Services API through your application. Face API brings powerful facial recognition to any app through an API. 
If you happen to have a genome that needs sequencing, well, Microsoft Genomics has you covered with Burroughs Wheeler Aligner and the Genome Analysis Toolkit, avoiding the need to build your own personal data center. I don't know what any of that means, but I'm sure it helps someone. You can improve user experience with Personalizer, which will tailor UI based on users, giving them the content they desire, and Azure Applied AI Services provide pre-built AI solutions like bots, forms, metrics, and text. If you want to try out some AI but have no idea how to code it, try out Project Bonsai for low-code AI creation, which definitely won't result in Skynet. Now all of this comes together with the fully integrated analytics platforms. HD Insight is the platform for your big data solutions, able to provision cloud versions of Hadoop, Spark, Kafka, RStudio, and more. Databricks is built on Apache Spark and provides collaborative notebooks that can handle a variety of your favorite languages, store data in a distributed file system, script data pipelines, and execute high-performing analytics all in one integrated package. Synapse Analytics is the unified analytics service, combining ingestion, warehousing, exploration, preparation, management, BI, and ML all into a single platform. It works with structured and unstructured data, supporting both data lakes and data warehouses, called SQL pools. And finally, for those who are getting into edge computing, which is essentially storing IoT data closer to the source to minimize latency, you have SQL Edge as a database optimized for edge computing. And then to apply AI to edge services, Percept combines AI and IoT services to provide edge intelligence. Oh, and of course, don't forget the most important service, which is cost management and billing, where your project management will tell you not to use any of these services because they forgot the tech cost money. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or learned something, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. Stick around for more data content by subscribing to the channel or clicking a video on screen. See you in the next one.